David, as you can see, U-Turn is bringing the community together. They're really helping to uplift and empower. There's also other organizations here just to continue uplifting the community. And the main goal is stopping violence. Right. Helping one another and encouraging youth to make better choices. You got to stop gun violence. So U-Turn is putting up signs around Fontenelle Park near 45th and Ames, trying to make a change. And hopefully just, you know, put a rest to the, to the violence. U-Turn hosting a community rally at the park on Thursday, spreading awareness about crime in the area. And our target area was based on data uh, where a majority of homicides and shootings occur uh, in Omaha in general, and so our target area goes from 24th to 42nd, uh, and then from uh, Lake to Reddick Streets. The outreach doing what they can to stop the violence. We talk and engage uh, with high-risk individuals, but also engaging with the community and just challenge the mindset and just really push the notion um, that violence is a learned behavior, and because it was learned, we can unlearn it. The rally is also a way to get the community together and have a good time. It's, it's about fun and re-engagement of the family, so we'll have football games, basketball basketball games, snow cone machine, popcorn. And honoring people who have made a big impact. Individuals that you that people can talk to, that they can go and receive counsel and uh, just get some words of encouragement. I miss you in the coffee room this morning. Beverly Fraser has lived in North Omaha for over 70 years. Talk with you later. And today she's getting an award for helping others. There's a lot of youth that are making the wrong decisions. Everyone needs a helping hand, and that's what it's all about. Now, the rally here goes until 8 p.m. Again, it's at Fontenelle Park. If you haven't had a chance to get out here, don't worry. U-Turn is going to be hosting three other rallies. Those dates and times have not been announced yet, but there are more details about the organization on KETV.com. Reporting live, Naya Gonzalez, KETV News Watch 7.